Hey guys! What's up? What's up? What's up? We're back for, I guess, round two, but week We're one back. week one recap. So we got the beautiful Karen Singbeal and I uh, ready to recap. And I'm even rocking my Karanoia shirt. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's how much I love you, Karen. I don't think you ever paid me for that, you cheap Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Brew. Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. And I just want you to know that I work in the real world and Bruno, who sits at home on the couch and does nothing and his wife's at work and his kids are at school, has bugged me for the last hour to get on this podcast. Like, Bruno, I work, so I actually <laughs> can be places on time. Well, okay. I just want to I do I work. I do I work. I do yeah. work. Yeah, you work part time yeah. when so, your crew's back on. Well, how I work, I'm a, I I work in the summers. I'm in construction, right? So I work all summer. Blah blah blah. I still I still get paid throughout the year, but yeah, I'm off. Oh. I'm, I'm off in the winter. So I do have a job. Let's just put that out there. I just I have a good. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry, but I got to be shady because this guy has bugged me for the last hour. Like I don't know that I'm already doing this, and I'm trying to do stuff because I actually have a lot of deals going on. I sell real estate, bro, bro. Yeah, well, man, uh, get cracking. Let's go. Let's get those sales going because we got to chat, man. We got to chat. So. You're so annoying. You are so annoying. So, so uh, yeah, you go. Okay, all right. So, week one is, is over. Week one is done. We have a lot to talk about. The premiere last night's episode. Uh, lots of stuff to talk about. Is there anybody, before we start, is there anybody that surprised you? Uh, from what you saw and anybody that you're kind of like, eh, whatever, they're not as good as I thought before we get into everything. Well, you know, I'm so disappointed that Laura already went home. Yeah. Well, you're kind of jumping the gun a little bit, but okay. Yeah. So, okay. So everybody, uh, spoiler alert. all right. So anyway, yeah, uh, you know what? You're right. I, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm she went sorry, home. Brew, but we've watched the edited episode. We haven't got to see the feeds. Like I have to jump into it. Yeah. And well, here's the thing. I want, I do want to get into that in a, a little bit of why I think she went home and blah, 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 and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll definitely get into that, but yeah, I am disappointed too. I'm, I'm disappointed that she did go home uh, early. I, I feel like she could brought a lot to the table. I think there was a, 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 a a little mystery and stuff I wanted to find out more about her. Uh, it's kind of a shame. Uh, it's kind of a shame that she's gone. But, uh, hey, everybody has to go eventually. And it just sucks it was her that went first. Uh, who would you... I know, obviously, you'd rather have seen Mark go first, I'm sure, right? That's who you wanted to see go first. But... Uh, <laughs> I think he's going to bring a lot to the table. I think there's a he's lot of games. He's not gone anywhere. Are you kidding? Okay, so before we do get into that, let's talk about the opening and let's talk about the production value of the show because did they knock it out of the park or what? Yeah, for sure. That the, the clip at the beginning and all that stuff was really cool. Personally, I don't care about that stuff to be very, very, very honest with you. I hate you. I don't like that stuff, but it was cool. Man, what was the point of watching this random person pretending she's a spy? We get it. It's a spy theme. She's walking for her. It's a five-minute clip of her running down the halls. Really, who cares, man? That's just a typical spy theme fucking show, movie, whatever. To me, it was kind of pointless. It was cool. Don't get me wrong. Fucking pointless. Take that money they spent on that production. Give it to these fucking house guests. Add it to the prize. Who gives a shit, man? That probably cost him a lot of money, man. You know that. Nobody likes you. This is why nobody likes you. We, <laughs> yeah, here's what, we were talking about this last night. Big Brother, like, before I went in the house, like, it's been my hobby. Like, Survivor, reality TV, The Real Housewives, like, that is who I am. That's, like, my football season. So, people like me, who are diehard fans, who love the production value, who love the show as a fan... That is huge. That you say that makes you so damn dumb. Like, Karen, come on. I'm a huge fan of the show, man. I, that's uh, I'm there to watch the show. I don't. If I want to watch someone run down a hallway with a briefcase pretending she's being chased by these randoms, I'd watch a show about. But I want to watch Big Brother. Get to the show. Cut the crap. Let's go into the house. I want to watch them play. For me, going to a blockbuster movie. You want to see the production value up. There's a big difference in watching something on a big screen at a theater or watching it on Netflix on your iPad or on your phone. Like, get out of here. Okay, but if I wanted to watch a spy movie i'd throw on netflix and watch a spy movie i want to watch these players play i want to get the season going it was just like man i couldn't wait for this thing to just end anyway it was cool 
I didn't really care for it. <laughs> okay. Okay. When Arissa, when they opened that eye, like a 007 movie, I was like, oh, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> it was cool. It, 100%. Just not Thank necessary. You. Give the yeah, give those kids the money in the house. Add it to the prize money at the end. Hey, I bet you that costs a ton of money to do. Okay. Uh, you guys, leave comments down below because this is going to be on YouTube. This is going to be on iTunes. This is going to be on SoundCloud. And tell me if you like the production value of it, if it means anything to you guys or you're like him. And then we'll draw the line and see. Okay? Like Do that guys. for us, guys. I would be, appreciate it. Be like me, guys. Okay. So I want to get into a few things. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for watching the last video. There's a ton of positive feedback. You guys, nice. uh, you know, it was very nice to hear. Very nice to see. Thank you guys very, very much. Uh, a lot of people like the dynamic between Karen and I. It is very authentic. Uh, she drives me crazy. Uh, I drive her crazy. Funny. I don't like you. <laughs> hey, it's a love, it's a love, love relationship. Uh, Karen's this amazing. This is last one, you guys. I'm just telling you, this is probably all I can handle no. of this person. Now, this she's, is probably it. She's in for I, the long haul. She's in all season. After this, I'm just putting it out there right now. So if you see, if I ghost you guys, you know why. Okay, so it's Karen, not. Karen, um, I want to say we'll see you next week too, of course. But I want to say, guys, so again, thank you very much for everybody for watching and all that stuff. That, that's great. Uh, don't forget to hit that sub button. We'll be doing this every week. Karen and I, both of us together, <laughs> will be doing this every week. Uh, and so uh, hit that sub button. Leave a comment who you like, what you thought of the, the premiere, uh, who you're cheering for, who your pregame picks were to now, all that stuff. Let us know. We're, we're very, very interested. Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because I listened to a little bit of our recap, and I was like, oh, she's going to bring the drama. She's going to be messy. I can't wait to see this person play. And boom, she's out of the house. She's gone. I'm like, damn, she gone. She go. She go. Okay. <laughs> So let's get into it. So we did have a Canada's vote. Uh, you and I both voted. I voted for Kaylin. You voted for Kaylin and a few other people. And, you know, I told you when we did the recaps that, to me, Damien seems like just a regular person. And I think that's why people uh, can gravitate. Now, I know for the show it's kind of boring or whatever. Um, but he does have a lot of, I guess, support. He's a hockey coach, uh, the First Nations, all that stuff. So he did get a lot of votes. <clears throat> so Damien does end up getting the advantage or whatever you want to call it, Canada's vote. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on him? What are your thoughts on the actual twist or whatever of, of itself? Okay, I was really surprised, like super surprised that he won it. Like what? Like you're kidding. Well, he had a ton of support from the First Nations and they're okay, very well, supportive. Yes, I didn't realize that that would be so overwhelming, but I was just like, wow, they are, w that kid won? Mm -hmm. You're kidding. Yeah, because. That is the last person I thought that would get it, honestly. Like, it's great that he has that much support in the real world, but I honestly thought that it flopped. I thought it was pretty boring. Yeah, you know, that, that's what I want to talk about the twist, too. So, yeah, you didn't like the twist too much, thought it was kind of whatever. Well, I thought it was like, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, and, and, it, and, you know, I agree. I think it was kind of crappy. Um, it was a neat concept. Okay, it's, it's a weird concept, and it's a neat concept. Because nothing really happened. In the first one, you got to watch the first, what, 20 minutes of people in the yeah. house. Yeah. And, and look, you've been there. I've been there. The first 20 minutes, everyone's just excited, yelling for no reason. You they're all, there. they're, exactly. Everyone's just in shock. Everyone's just trying to, you know, get 10 seconds to talk to everyone. Hey, I'm Bruno. Da, 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 this is what I do. Where are you from? Nobody's really making sense. Everyone's kind of just all over the place. Yeah. Um, that wasn't exactly like it was for me on our season because I knew the eight of you. Well, okay. Yeah. But except for Dallas. I couldn't remember his name. But <laughs> those other ones, I was like, oh, my God, what the hell are they doing here? So, so, so it was kind of different. Okay, our season was, for sure, our season is different than any other season they've had, for sure. Okay, but in the regular seasons, uh, everyone's just excited to see yeah. everybody and blah, 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 and they're yelling. So his twist is kind of, I don't know, man, I hate, I just don't like twists. Even these ones are kind of pointless. Everyone I've seen so far is pointless. You say that all the time, but I hate get twists. used to it. No. Canada is known for Big Brother Canada, twist, oh, twist, it's, 
twist, twist, twist. Like, Horrible. forget it. This is going to be part of this franchise Horrible. always, bro. Oh, hey, hey, of course it is. Because, But they're so out it. of touch. They're so out of touch with their fans. I, I feel help that. that. Listen, I'm not saying you can. What I'm saying is they're so out of touch with their fans. And these stupid twists they throw in are just so unnecessary. It keeps happening. But anyway, you're right. That's, a, that's another discussion. Okay. So yeah. Damien gets in the house. And uh, he gets to watch people move in. And I'd say 9 out of 10 times, this twist is kind of stupid and pointless. You're just watching people jump up and down, hugging each other, excited, blah, blah, blah. Okay? But something interesting does happen where he catches Adam and uh, Dane, I believe it was, in the pantry. And they're in the house for like, you know, 45 seconds, it seems, and they're in the pantry. And Adam right away is like, hey, man, I want to group up with four guys. You're one of my guys. Okay? So Damien hears that. Now, the chances of that actually happening are super rare that that they would have that talk in the first two minutes. It's super rare. He's just lucky that it happened because this twist would have been just a huge dud if that one conversation didn't even happen. So Damien has this information now. It's like, holy shit. Okay, I know that Adam and Dane are going to start working together. Adam wants a four-guy alliance. Hey, I'm a guy. I got to get myself in there. So he almost has Adam's playbook in his hands. He has information about Adam Hey, in stop his hands. right there. What's up? At that point, would you be thinking like that he went and thought, oh, these guys are going to try to do it. So you're thinking, yeah, well, I need to get in on that. I think I would have used that as an, dis an advantage against him had I been one of those people in there. And that, Well, that's the thing is you can work it either yeah. way. Either way, if you... <laughs> But he should have taken that opportunity, and maybe he still will. I mean, it's so new. And use it. So get try to get in with them. But he didn't get in with them. We already know he didn't get in yeah. with them. But he could have played it both ways. Like, that was a huge opportunity for that kid. Oh, for sure it was. Now, I think what happened was because Adam won HOH, it kind of screwed that conversation over. If someone else would have won HOH... You know, Damien could have said, hey, guys, listen, I overheard them somehow, whatever it was. He doesn't have to say he was in a room. He could just say, exactly. you know, I walked in the pantry. I was about to go in the pantry. And I heard them talking. Whatever. He could have come up with whatever he wanted, whatever way he wanted to do it. And he said, listen, this is what I heard Adam say. It ran out of his mouth. He wants a four-guy alliance. He went up to Dane and said, hey, me and you. But Adam did win HOH. So his he doesn't have that ammo to use against them because he can't do anything about it. So he does try to get into the alliance. But the guy is just so... Um, David just doesn't get the... I don't know if it's not even about getting the game. It has nothing to do with getting the game. I just, I just think he's a okay. bad player. So let's stop and go there. Okay, sure. this is what, as a fan, drives me insane. When they go in there, they're recruited or whatever, or he says his girlfriend, like, he acts like it was so easy to get into the Big Brother house. Like, yeah. we all know how hard it is. The fans on the outside that are watching this podcast who have tried year after year after year, like me who waited for it to come to Canada... That's just so insulting that it's like, oh, yeah, I yeah. just went in and I was just cherry picked out of the line. And here I am playing the game. I'm so annoyed by that. Yeah, and it's and true. It's that's why I wish he would have gone home. And, honestly, and, Because he doesn't even love the game like we love the game. And, but here's the thing, too. I, I like to look at both sides of it, Karen. And you're right. It's kind of like, fuck, all these people try. Like, it's their dream exactly. to get on the show. Uh, but, you know, it almost having these people that don't get the game, it almost they adds to the season. I think, no. I think it gives no. the opposite because they're so green no. to it. So Wilson new to it. last year. What did Wilson do for us except get drug along so he could finally get cut? He okay. did, Those recruits do nothing for the game. I'm sorry. And That's most of them season. have all personalities. Okay, look at season four. Phil and Nick, both of them have never watched a season before in their life. And they both, and they win the show. They win the show. So it's being We're a not fan. Going to season four winning the show. Listen, see, listen, I'll tell you something. Being a fan is great and all, but you, the show needs these green people to it or else it just becomes like robotic. Okay. You know, I, these, these people that don't understand the game, they're the ones that make those weird moves or those, you know, just moves out of nowhere or they, 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 they you know, they make those mistakes or whatever you want to call it. It's the okay, people. I, I agree to disagree. Let's go on. Okay. We're moving on. Okay. <laughs> We got, yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Okay, we got a lot to talk about. I've like this forever, you guys. This is like real. He texts me the most insane <laughs> crap all the time. Okay, so we talked about him being in the lounge, blah, 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 blah. The first group was Adam, Laura, Dane, and Chelsea. Uh, Adam and Dane, whatever they talk. So let me ask you something. Yeah. 
I know that we think because Tamara in Celebrity Big Brother broke the first in curse. Do we believe, you guys, that we broke the first in curse because Damien was, because of the twist, asked to come in first, but then Adam really went in first, right? Okay, but listen to me. I don't believe this, this whole curse thing. I wouldn't count Celebrity Big Brother. I wouldn't count Celebrity Big Brother simply because it's a four week show. It's like three and a half Who's weeks. In? Is it Damien or Adam? Well, it would be Damien. Damien was in the house, right? Okay. Okay. He good. was. I mean, I that's would. What I, that's what I think. Okay. Because they might have screwed him, but he was still the first in. So that's my guy, and I'm thinking, okay, so he's going home. I wouldn't count Celebrity Big Brother as the first in curse. Actually, I talked about this with, with Evil Dick last night. We, I did a podcast with him last night, and we talked about it. Okay. And Celebrity Big Brother is just like, hey, man, you know, it's a four week show, whatever, everything. Anyway. Okay. Um, okay. The other thing I want to talk about is Kaylin says she's 29. That's what she tells the house guest. Yeah. Uh, you listen, man, that's a little bit of a stretch. I, I, that's a little bit of a stretch. That's a little it's, bit. It's a stretch. She I don't believe they buy it. In the 30s, but nobody cares. I, nobody I get, cares. But nobody buys it. Nobody believes it. I'll tell you right now, nobody but, believes it. Nobody cares either. It doesn't seem like anybody cares at this yeah. point. It's, for nobody sure. cares. Okay, but I'm 35 years old. So she's going in saying she's six years younger than me. Come on. Like, that's a that's a stretch, man. That's well, a, honey, but you really look like 45. Listen. If you take that hat off, you're my age. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so 29 years old, not buying it. Not buying it at all. Uh, okay, the other thing is... Okay, here's one thing I really want to talk about. I really, really want to talk about this is... Um, Big Brother gives out the secret. This is something I really want to talk about, okay? So uh, they okay. give out uh, something about everybody in the house that they didn't want the house guests to know. Now, I'm going to tell the people watching this right now and the people sitting at home, they're probably saying, oh, well, come on. They should know better. This is Big Brother. Karen, I bet you that's what you're going to say, right? They should know better. It's Big Brother. Is that what you're going to go with? What is your thought on it? <laughs> Let's hear your thought. I want to hear it. Go. No, you know you have no secrets from Big Brother. So it's like, well, dummies... You know, you got to remember if you want to go in and play this game that you always have to be running every reel and every scenario in your mind and everything you do has to be thought out because of stuff like this. I'm okay. sorry, but no, you should, you should know when Big Brother's asking you crap like that, what wouldn't you want to know? When they asked me, when that guy from ET Canada that laughed about, at, laughed at me for winning the HOH asked me who I didn't like, at first when I said Netta and Ika, then I thought, oh my God, why did I just say that? That was bad. And then when they walked in the house, that's the one you saw my reaction. That was the first thing I thought, oh my God, they're going to out me. Slop vote. Like, Listen. no, these are crucial rookie mistakes by doing that. I'm sorry, but they Listen. are. No, they're not. You're very wrong because these people, Hello. Karen, these people are getting asked this question in sequester. They're not even in the house yet. I just told you I was in sequester when matter. they did it to me. It doesn't matter. Bruno, I just told you from the Big Brother playbook, this, they asked me in sequester and I told them that and then those two girls walked in the house and I was like, oh shit. Yeah, but they didn't oh, out you. They didn't but say they that. Have. No, because you're but in sequester. You're not even in the game yet. No, it's... Hi. No. Listen to me. Okay, Karen, you know how sequester is and, and the interviews and all that stuff. You're, you're getting interviewed three, four times a day, every day in that in the, in sequester. They're asking you all these questions, this and that. This is a moment for you to tell Canada what you want. The, the, no, the game doesn't start until you get in the house. To me, The game no. starts when they come and pick no. you up at your house, no. take your phone no. away. No. Bull. No. To me, that was bullshit. Bull. That was bullshit. That, should not do but that game starts the minute they pick you up. You guys remember yes. this because I gave you examples. Karen, I yes. Examples. Okay. The, okay. The game doesn't start when they pick you up. The game starts when you're auditioning. If you want to go and play that game, we can play that game. The game starts when you're auditioning, blah, blah, blah. No. Yeah. When you're in sequester, this is your moment to tell Canada about you and this and that. So they're asking you these questions. Okay. The, the fact that they released it to the house guests, they weren't even in the house yet. To me, that's bullshit. That's, not it. that's shady. That's bullshit. Shady ass big brother. Okay. I live for it. Okay, so, okay, whatever. Whatever. They did what they did. Whatever. That's fine. Now, here's the part that really bothers me is, okay, like, I, first, I just got to say, I'm loving uh, Kira. Loving Kira, loving Kira. But you know what hey, they say to her? KW, is that the Kiki? Kiki. Yeah, Kiki. Not, not the they. No, Kiki. Loving Kiki. Kiki. Are we okay? calling her Kiki? We're calling her Kiki. Done. That's what we're calling. We'll get confused. Okay. I'll get confused. Okay. 
Now, here's my problem with this with this twist of outing people. This is the this is the problem, okay? Oh, I know. I Kiki's know. is I don't want the house to know that I'm a good liar. Okay, okay, that that's fine. That that sucks. But then it's like Dane is like uh, I don't want people to know that I'm uh, I'm a softie. Who the yeah. fuck cares? Who the fuck cares if you're a softie? <laughs> and here's fucking. Kiki saying, I'm a good liar. There's a big, big difference between that. One affects her game, and one's like, oh, this guy's a softie. Oh, well, who cares? And then there's one like, I want to throw competitions. This is the shit they can't be doing. This is the stuff they cannot be doing. Is they're affecting someone's game. Okay, what was the other one was, uh, Damien, I don't want people to know I played hockey. Who gives a shit? If anything, that helped them because Dane's a hockey boy. Damien's a hockey boy. Adam's a we hit a hot spot with this one with Brew. I fucking okay. hate that shit. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, Honey, fuck. take your blood pressure. Go take your meds. <laughs> Calm down. Listen. Honey, Honey, get your meds. I, I just, I hate that crap, man. Why do they do, if you're going to do that, you guys. if you're going to do that, make it equal for everybody. Don't be like, oh, I'm a good liar. They're not equal. They're not fair. It's fucking stupid. Who's okay, going to try? They, that's them, that shady ass big brother. That's you stupid. Do it. And, and I totally agree with you, Bruno. I just want to be honest. I totally agree with you. I'm like, oh boy, they really screwed some of them. Yeah. This is where, how do they think fast on their feet? How can they recover? You know, does it become an issue for them? Like, this is the part that it's like, you got to maneuver and wiggle and get yourself out if Big okay. Brother puts you in. Because Big Brother is shady and they will put your ass in a sticky situation like this. Okay, but and why? So why should I have to wiggle and work my way up now and you, you're you just sitting at the top? Why? Why Why you and why not? Why? <laughs> Big brother. Anyway, my thoughts on it. I fucking hate that twist. We get it. Brought zero, zero value to the show. Zero, zero entertainment. Zero value. It had brought nothing to the table except for caused a few people some problems. Fucking pointless. Anyway. Go on next. Okay, next. We're moving on. Fucking horrible twist. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Uh, I actually wrote them down. So Dan. Dane's was he has a soft side. Damien was that he's a pro hockey player. Kira, that she's a great liar. Come on, fuck. Uh, Anthony, he hasn't watched Big Brother. Who gives a shit? Uh, Kira, Cop Beast. Oh, hold on a second. That he did never watch it. That was one of the reasons that it was like, hey, you know, he's not really going to lose his dream if he's not here because he's never watched it. Or, you know, that... No, you know what? People will pick apart For every sure. little thing they want, and you know it. Okay, so you're telling me that Kira being a great liar and she doesn't want people to know it, and that he hasn't watched the Big Brother season, they're on the same playing field. Okay. No, I didn't say that. Don't put mo words in my mouth. <laughs> but this is our last podcast anyway. So no, it's it not. Matter. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, Kira, <laughs> she says she's a comp beast, but she's going to hide it. Uh, Steph's an undergrad in psych. Kaylin does the readings. Uh, Mark had a religious background. Adam makes a lot of money. Eddie runs a cryptocurrency. Uh, Laura's a sensitive person. Okay, oh, fuck. Oh. Faces a cryptocurrency. And the guy that makes a lot of money, okay, that could come back. For sure. That could definitely come back, too. It's like, oh, you don't need the money. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely, it could. But that's what I'm okay. saying is some affect the game and the people more than others. That's all I'm saying. I, I, get, I, I Fuck, it bothers me. Anyway, I want to move on because uh, it's fucking yes. bothering me. Okay. Please. Okay, so the first stage of Wakes, they're locked in a cell. They're locked in a cell. Their hands are tied. <laughs> fuck, cool comp. Very, very cool comp. <laughs> yeah, so they had to, like, get out or whatever. Uh, they didn't tie their hands, break the chair, uh, blah, 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 get the keys. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, then Arissa tells them there's no veto comp this week. I know. Which is crazy. Now, to me, that twist was awesome because you know as well going into the first comp a lot of people like i don't want to get blood on my hands i don't want to do this i don't want to be a target like then going into week two so it was like oh i love that they did that yes. i thought yes big brother yes yeah i i liked it too I, I, there's the things i like about it there's things i don't like about it there's things i liked about it because yeah you're right it makes everybody play yeah. because you know everybody wants to win everyone wants to be safe this week and i like that it brought a different different uh angle, for sure um the thing i don't like about it is 
Okay, for instance, like, okay, Damien went on the block because of it, okay? I think Adam wouldn't have put that put Damien on the block if he had a chance to win the veto. I don't like that. It, it had There was a chance for, like, a good player potentially going home simply because they can't save themselves. That part I didn't like. Luckily, well, I don't want to say luckily it didn't happen. Uh, we'll never know what Laura would, would be like in the game. But, you know, it did give Adam that, that, that chance to put a big player up on the block. He did. Uh, I, that's what I kind of liked about it. Kind of sucks that whoever goes home didn't really have a chance to save themselves that part i don't like about it because playing in the game I, as a fan you're like yeah it's awesome for sure but when you're in that game and it's like fuck man i did all this shit to get on the show i finally get on the show and you don't yeah. have a chance to save yourself kind of sucks so i i can see both sides of it as a fan and as a player completely uh okay uh so part two they get these spoons now here's the thing okay that i didn't yes. understand they get these spoons and they got to dig underneath this fucking wall whatever and get out Really, really, really cool. And at first, you can see they're all really using the spoon, the spoon, the spoon. And as the competition is going on, they're using their arms and their legs. I don't think they were allowed to do that. I don't know personally, but I have a feeling that they weren't allowed to use their hands and feet. Uh, they had to use that spoon, or else why the hell is that spoon there? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so next week, if I come back, You're, you'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to weigh in on that. So we'll remember that for next week. We'll remember that for next week. Okay, we'll remember that for next week. I don't know where Karen's going with it, but you got it, buddy. Okay. Paranoia. Paranoia. Look, look Karanoia. This is why none of you fucking watch. That's right. right. Says. And I told you that. And remember how insulted you laughed in my face when I said it? Because they thought I only said it to Gary and Cass, but I said it to most of the bad guys. I laughed. You totally laughed, but Kevin was so insulted. And Kevin's like, you can't say that to me. I'm like, honey, I just did. I thought it was funny. Hey, what the It hell? was funny. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, here. This is the other thing I want to talk about. The vote. So we had Corey uh. and uh, shit. Corey and Holly, right? Yes. Corey and Holly. Okay. Did you vote at all? Yeah. You know what I did? I went and I watched their little bio clips. And I was like, okay, don't have any idea. Honestly, I don't like either of you at this point. Didn't get to see their personality yeah. um, a lot. I, I didn't really go hunting for a lot of stuff, in all honesty. Because, you know, even though she shaded me, like, I like Kirsten a lot. And we've hung out in real life. And we text and DM. I really like her. And I hate that they have to do this to I, someone. I hate And this so list. I honestly went and voted one time for each of them. And I thought, I don't care because I know they're crushing somebody's dream. And I don't have any idea who these people are, what they're going to play like. But I just know because of a person and having a relationship with Kirsten, it's crushing. And it's bad, but I know it's great for TV. And they get a lot of press off of it. And they get a lot of people interested. And that's why they do it. But it's... No. Yes. Again, another twist I don't like. And there's so many reasons I don't like it. It's not even... And, and you know what's the funny thing is? I don't know anybody that does like it. Everybody I talk to or anybody that ever sees this twist come up, right away it's like, oh, I fucking hate it. It's stupid. It's a I dumb twist. We but usually they, don't get it right. It's fucking horrible, man. It's a stupid twist. It, it, for, for so many reasons, okay? One, we're voting someone in. Uh, the other girl, she's done. She can't play again. Whatever. Like you said, honestly, and it's not a shot at either one, I didn't really find, you no. know, like, I honestly, and, I, and I'm not trying to be like that, but I, I was like, I don't really I, you know, care. Again, again, I'm going to say this a hundred times if I ever do another podcast or yes, these last yes. podcasts. I do not know these people. I'm basing this on gameplay. I got slaughtered on podcasts, and it's funny. We're real people when we come out. It doesn't really matter. We're playing a game. So, yeah. you know what? I honestly need to see your personality to decide. Both of them said they didn't have a strategy. Um, I, I was like... Phew. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. I, I agree. Uh, here's the part I don't like about the twist, and it's just a fucking broken twist. Okay. These people are going to... Now, this girl's going to go... What's her name? Uh, fuck. Uh, you Laura? sound very negative. Do you think you should get some therapy? <laughs> Listen, man. I... I I hate Go, twists. What's the happy anyway. pill that Bruno can take, you guys? Because <laughs> anyway. I don't do drugs. So what okay. is the happy pill? So leave it below so you can take one. <laughs> so listen to me, okay? So what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Oh, he smiled. He smiled. What's her name? <laughs> what's her name? Corey. Who, Holly? Corey? Yeah, she's the one that got okay. in. So Corey, okay, Corey gets in. 
Uh, she has 24 hours to make three final two deals, which is stupid. Dumb fucking twist. Again, dumb fucking twist. Uh, so she gets voted in. Here's the thing. Why let, why do these twists and get these people to come in week two? Why do that? If you're gonna get the candidate to vote someone in, vote them in to go in with everybody else week one. Just do it like that. If you have two people that you don't care or whatever, it's one or the other, fuck, make Canada pick the last house guest to walk in week one with everybody else. Because all it does, now this girl comes in week two, people have already made bonds week one and they're like hey this is our house who the fuck is this person coming into our house to them it's their season and this is an outsider coming in so what are they gonna do right away they're gonna say hey guys let's fucking get together let's get this girl out we're all safe another week hey who cares we don't know who she is she's in today she's gone tomorrow and yeah. she ha you know it's just totally. a stupid fucking twist but they, say, but they but bruno they make it where they like okay go make three final three deal for three final two deals i mean i think i'm pretty sure she's going to be successful because you know big brother's gauge of your getting these tasks done will happen so then she'll have immunity for the week so of course she would be going out the house but she's not going out the house okay oh, and you guys at the end we will do spoilers if we're doing uh if we're watching the feeds which i know we will both be watching or watching twitter so it will always save spoilers for the end to tell you a few little tidbits or what our thoughts are on that i just want to put that out in the middle of this ep episode she's the best this is why we love karen see Ugh. you're the informative one see i'm just on the ranks Thanks, yeah. I'm, the, the, I'm the brains you're and the you're brains. The, well, what are you? No, I don't even know what I have then. That's there's got to be brains and looks, and I'm going with no. You got, you got the looks. You got the brain. I'm going no. Maybe when you were younger, I don't know. <laughs> Show me a picture. Okay, just kidding. Okay, okay. Okay, so this girl's got to make three final twos. It seems pretty basic. But I also see it going against her, okay? So say she goes up to whoever. I don't know. Uh, fuck, I'll just throw a random name. Let's say Sam, Samantha. She goes up to Samantha and says, hey, she has no idea the dynamics of the house. She has no idea who she, Samantha's working with. She has no idea. This girl just walks in green, has no idea. So she walks up to Samantha and says, hey, you know, whatever. Well, let's make a final two. Whatever the hell she says, whatever, okay? So she makes this final two deal with Samantha. Samantha and then, you know, say Corey goes up to, say, Adam after. Says, hey, Adam, you know, I want to make a final two, whatever. And then Samantha goes up to Adam and says, hey, Look, that new girl, she just tried to offer me a final two. And Adam says, hey, that fucking new girl tried to offer me a final two as well. And everyone starts talking. This twist is fucking stupid. All it does is it puts her game in jeopardy because she's forced to make these final two with people. And all it takes is for someone to talk to someone else and say, hey, she's trying to make a final two with me. Oh, wait, well, I thought she was trying to make a final two with me. Well, actually, no, she was trying to make a final two with me. And it just blows up in her fucking face. For what? It's just, to me, it's a stupid fucking twist. Ah, oh, I fucking hate it. Anyway. That's that's over like ten twists already this season. I, I I don't like them. I don't like them. So, you think she's gonna complete this task, Karen? Yes, hundred percent. She's going to definitely delete <laughs> get this task done. It's I don't you? I mean, it's a no. -brainer. It's an easy. It's an easy task. It's an e It's like me and Kevin when we after Gary got evicted, go get their five clothes off of them. It was like, of course, she's going to succeed. Yeah, of course. Fuck, you were, you were, oh man, you were ripped that night. You were fucking, oh, oh my so God. bad. Okay, let's not go there. Okay, 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 we won't go there. We'll go in there later. One time, one time okay. we'll just do things on our season. Okay, 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 let's do that. But oh okay. man, that's a good So one. yes, 100% Brew, she's going to succeed. And then she's okay. going to have immunity for the week. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I think, I mean, it's an easy task. It's an easy task. Okay. So now we're going to, where are we now? We're on episode two and we get uh, Adam, Dane, Mark, and Anthony end up forming that four-man alliance. So the four guys in his alliance ends up being Dane. So it's Adam, Dane, Mark, and Anthony. So the really big guy, the guy you don't like, the hockey boy, and Adam. Okay. What are your thoughts? Oh, and they call themselves. Hey, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. The pretty boy. Oh. Uh, Okay, how about you don't have four brain cells between ya boys? The like, come that, was, on. that was a horrible name. That was a fucking horrible name. Horrible. I'm so annoyed with that. That was horrible. That was like, that's like cringeworthy. That's like... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That Guys, I hope they watch this when they get out of the house. Yeah, it's Nick say on the pretty boy's name. Like, horrible. nobody... That's like saying... Uh, you know, people, Cardi B saying, I am a rich, f 
famous girl club. Like yes. you want to come and follow me, follow the rich famous club. Like, no, no. Could you be humble, be decent, pretty boys? No guys. Horrible. No, call, make yourself laughable something. I just was like, no, no. Yeah, it was that was bad. So Damon wants, he knows about this alliance and he wants to get on it. He yes. talks to Adam. Totally backfires. He's like, hey, man, I don't even know what I'm doing here. My girlfriend got me on the show. And Adam said it. He's like, hey, man, that's a fucking slap in the face. Like, you don't even want to be here. Why the fuck are you here? I'll put you on the block. Maybe it was an excuse he used to get him on the block, but whatever. Um, okay, I also want to talk about the relationship between Sam and Adam. Samantha and Adam. That's the uh, yeah. beauty. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know who they are. Okay. Um, tell okay. me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bruno, I'm actually watching uh, the show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is she not give you M vibes or what? I don't know why she reminds me of M in a way. I, I don't know what it is about her. And I love Dem in the house. You know that I did. But she is she playing too hard too fast? Oh, man. I, th I think she's playing a little bit hard. I think it's going to come crashing for sure. Okay. Yeah, Big time. Because she might be with Meat Shield. Adam, but it's like, no, hon, you're playing too hard, too fast. The other side is going to pick up, and they already did. That's why Laura, I wish we would get to see the feeds or get to see the backstory and what happened in week one because we know there's so much going on while they're trying to form these relationships. But, of course, that's why Laura went out the door. Yeah, for sure. Well, and, and I want to get into that, too. Um, yeah. we, we should probably, we'll fast forward a little bit of things. I think we'll, we'll fast forward some things. So we got like the Sam and Adam relationship and yeah, so that's the thing is when Laura comes into the HOH room and talks to Adam and I, you know, that, the one thing I found interesting was Adam's like, Hey, you know, yesterday was a long day and you didn't even come talk to me once. And this is when he won HOH. He's like, you didn't even come talk to me once. And now you're coming in here to talk to me. Now, Karen, you know, as well as I know in that house, you have to talk to the HOH yes. men. It doesn't matter if you like them. It doesn't matter. You have to talk to them. You got to pretend to listen to their stories. You got to pretend okay. to care about what they're fucking talking about. That's Absolutely. the game. And you know, when she does get evicted and she's saying, well, I just wanted to be real to me. I couldn't fake it. Then, then why are you there? You have to. Everybody has to pretend they care about your conversation. Everyone has to pretend they care about your family or whatever the hell it is. Why do you think I played the cruise ship over oh, and over and drove up to the scare tactics? It's oh. like those stupid self-absorbed stories. And we heard them 85 times. <laughs> and you've got to listen. No, I didn't want to tell you stories, though. You kept asking me to That's entertain bullshit. you and tell you stories, and then you turned it around on me. This <laughs> is why nobody likes you. <laughs> oh, my God, Karen. We're going to do a podcast about your stories. Oh, we'll get it. No, you don't even have any stories because you're not interested we'll get, in real we'll life. Get, we'll get into that. We'll get into that then. Okay. Not even interesting. Okay. 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 So, okay. So, Laura goes in and says, names one person that... That should go on the block. One person, and she names Sam. Now, that's out of anybody she could have picked, she picks Sam, the one girl that he's like, uh, no. Um, well, he's in bed with, trying yeah. to get into bed with, got in a side alliance. That's his side chick, his side piece, and you got to say her name. It's uh, like, ah, shoot me now. Horrible. So, and that's that. And Here's I want to. Hold on, stop. I want to give them some insider knowledge. Go ahead, Guys. Go. When somebody's the HOH, and Bruno was never in our season, so I'll just... By choice. Hey, that's by choice. That's I'll by just speak to this. Oh, that's yeah, by whatever. Choice. Yeah, that's by choice. <laughs> Up and let me talk. People just don't want to hear you talk all the time. Oh, go, go, go. So when they ask you who, guys, word of advice, you say, you know, I, who were you thinking? Turn it around and get them to tell you and then piggyback on that. Never put a name out there because this is the perfect example. <laughs> you don't know who they're going to be yeah. going after. And it's like, okay, your game's over, Laura, because you just said cutie patootie. And boy, is she cute too. <laughs> yeah, These so she girls, there are so many cute girls. So, okay, so she does say, Laura, and that's the part I want to get into is when it is the nomination ceremony, and and listen, man, Adam, what are you what are you doing, buddy? He's like, 
you know, I'm nominating Damien because whatever, I don't remember what his excuse was. And then it's, I nominate Laura because she's coming after someone that I can't let that happen or whatever like that. Or basically basically like, uh, I'm, she's going after someone that I want to protect. What, what are you doing, man? You just told the whole house that basically you and Sam are ride or dies. You're going to protect her. You're going to do what you got to do to keep her safe. And that lets the entire house know that, hey, these people are tight. They're a final two. They're a pair. We got to yes. break that up. What did he do? There was no reason for him to say that. Just, just say, Laura, go up. See you later. Have a good day. Or try to be the lone person by yourself and get with that pair and be the threesome. Yeah, but what? That's what I'm saying. Is he he said in his nomination, like, I can't let you target my girl because oh, I, I can't. Thank you. He told him his game. What yeah. did I say? Not four brain cells between them. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it was a stupid. It was just not. Anyway, not not a smart move. He just told the whole house. Who his ride or die is, who his partner is, and they're going to be a target now as a pair. Uh, I mean, rightfully so, uh, because of it. So, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Laura was put out of up. Da, da, da. Okay, his speech is horrible. Okay, then I want to talk about how Adam finds the secret room. Yes. To me, it's just a fuck two doors right in the fandom. You know where that is, right, Karen? That was the hallway to this pool. Yes, yeah. It's just two doors sitting there. I knew that. Yeah, I knew. So, I don't understand how it's a secret room. It's literally in the fan room. It's right beside the kitchen. It's right there. So, anyway, Adam finds it. They go in. Uh, Damien took the piece of... He went in first, took the piece of paper. Um, who knows what's what's there. Maybe he has to hold it under some ultra light or something like that. Maybe gives him a clue. Who knows? But he has a piece of paper. Um, and then I kind of everyone goes in one at a time. And now they know about this room. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, okay. I want to talk about how... Okay. So now, Let's talk about this for a second. Sure. So... They find the room. Do you think that you go to the other 14 people and drag them down the hall and say, here, exactly. come and look at the room I found? Exactly. So that's the thing. It's I like, mean, do we, how many collective brain cells do we have in the house at this point? I'm like, really, you guys? You wouldn't be. I remember how we, I saw Kevin searching the house looking for something. And I told Ica, like, over the balcony, like, he's looking like, you wouldn't be, like, trying to, you'd be watching them trying to see what they're doing. I just couldn't believe that they did that. It's like, oh, let's drag everybody in and, like, kumbaya this out. I think they're, the only thing I can think of is maybe they were excited about it or who knows, because you're right. Why tell the people you're against? Something they shouldn't know, or if they didn't figure oh, it out yet, let them find out on their own. A hundred percent. So, okay, so your thoughts on... Lo so, anyway, they vote 11 to 0. Laura goes yes. home. Boring. What boring, are your thoughts? Yeah. Boring. I hate that. Boring. I think... Well, okay, I hate it in the episode when they said, oh, he's saying, you know, I'm going to take a big target out. Then he puts those two on the block, and then it goes home 11-0 to Laura. I'm like, really? This is your big target? Oh, I thought the spoilers must have been wrong. There's no way she would have went home if she was the big target. And it's like, come on. See, now, I don't know... We Nobody knows really what happens the first week, but I can only see what we see on the episode. And to me, body language is a lot. You never see her hanging out with any anybody else she's always by herself she talked to eddie a little bit she's always yeah. wearing her hood up she's very close her sunglasses on body language is everything if you're yeah. not trying to be included you're trust me especially week one it's very easy to just dismiss these people week one especially and it's like they don't want to be part of this group you know what go home and watch it from home and that's and, and it's and easy yeah, and you have to move around in that house and see, like, do I have any common interest or connection with them? Can I just act like I like their stupid story? I mean, I can't tell you how many I listen to Thirsty's stupid stories at that table thinking, I'm gonna, I'd am gonna, i rather go poke myself in the eyes with forks, but I'm going to listen to Thirsty's stupid stories, and then I will, you know, <laughs> okay, because I knew Thirsty was with you two, and... <laughs> <laughs> from season three and then you know also with netta and aika and it was like oh my god you got to listen to this stupid stuff like you honestly do but you don't know if that person's going to be the same person in the house as outside of the house and it's like yes they're the same person i can tell you guys with certainty 100 percent the same person <laughs> okay so we yeah okay so okay so the okay so you're, the, the vote is 11 to 0 uh, okay, now here's one thing. Okay, so anyway, yeah, so that's basically it. So the vote's 11 to 0. Laura goes home. I talked about it a little bit, how she's on stage saying, you know what? I have no regrets. I was oh. me. 
Come on, how do you have no regrets? Come on. Or... That's the part that drives me bananas, man. It's like, I, I have no regrets. I was authentic to myself. I'm not changing. You're in Big Brother. This isn't the real world, man. Yes. Uh, I would have been so crushing, 100%. clawing, scratching. Because, of course, I thought as the old person, if I knew if I didn't win first HOH, I'm the sacrificial lamb. You're going home. That's what always happens. But I look at Laura like she was our old person. They, that cast... Kaylin fit in and Laura became that outsider, that person that didn't connect. And she could have been my age. She was the same person that went home week one in that mentality and that she didn't care enough or maybe she was just, you know, saving face. I don't know because I don't know her, but yeah. I think, oh, my God, I would have been just crushed. Yeah, me too. That was my biggest fear. I think that's everyone's biggest fear is just yeah, being the first the biggest out. fear. Yeah. Biggest fear. Yeah, and I, you know, it just, she made mistakes with what she was telling, you know, where she came in and said she wanted to put Sam on the block or whatever. It was her target. She oh made a lot God. of mistakes. And like I said, I we didn't see a lot of her, but from what I put pieced together from the the, yeah. the show, she was very, you know, to herself and kind of secluding yes. herself. And, and uh, you know, and, and uh, one thing, I when uh, Damien did that little rap there, and they're like, hey, uh, Laura, do something. She's like, no, no. Listen, she was put on the spot. It's uncomfortable. Oh, come on. You do. You but have to you have act to. like. Yeah. Okay. Do something. Do you do remember? Something. I'm going to bring up our season because, you guys, I'm sorry. I have to. Do you remember that first week at, okay, at the HOH when Dimitri had won? So I was in HOH and we all went into the HOH and we were having a party and we were dancing. And they're like, everybody yeah, was yeah. dancing like Karen. And even you. I mean, you know, I'm the older person. And it's like, no, you got to get in the circle and dance. Like, you know, I didn't know these people are like or dislike. I mean, you're just trying to fit your way, but it's like we're having a dance party and we're drinking in the HOH, and it's like, no, I'm just going to sit here. Yeah. No. As bad, I mean, look, I still to this day, when I see how you and Kevin dance, I go back, white boys can't dance. It's like, yeah, watch that. They <laughs> Get out of here. Kevin was doing this. I mean, hilarious. But it was fun. Yeah. We had fun. You have to have fun and get that camaraderie and. What, no, I knew that was, sac you know, like the nail yeah. when she was like, no, I don't want to. I mean, I can't rap, but I would have tried. Yeah, and they're all, and like three or four of them were like, come on. And she's like, no, I'm not doing it. And it was like, you could tell it was like, kind of like, oh, that's all awkward, you know? Wah, wah. Yeah. So, you know, you got, this is Big Brother, and I know people are going to be like, no, I'd rather just be authentic to myself. Listen, if you, for sure, you could be authentic, okay. but you're going to be at home watching it. That's, that's It's the game, man. It's a social game. Remember Aika's interviews going in with E.T. Cannon? She said to them, which was her own question, like that wasn't scripted. Aika came up with that, just so you know, because I got insider knowledge. She does her own questions, and she knows that you got to act like fake ass and have to say stuff and laugh at people's stupid jokes. Well, you got to dance at their dance parties or do their rap or do all their other stuff. So if you're watching this and you want to get in there and you want to, you know, mingle with them, be part of the group. Yeah, you for can't sure. isolate yourself. And I can't wait till we get to the spoilers because this is big right now. What I was watching, you know, on the feeds. Okay. Well, then, you know what? Well, we pretty much recapped everything. Why don't we get uh, to the spoilers? Have we? Okay, good. So here we go, guys. Okay. We're going to do some spoilers. Okay. So before we do this, if you guys want to shut it off here, thanks for joining and watching and everything. Uh, leave your comments, who your favorites are. We want to know. We want to know about you guys. We're going to be very interactive with you guys. So we're going to respond. We're going to respond to all your comments and all that stuff. So if you have any questions or anything you wanted to talk about or maybe we missed, let us know. Uh, leave it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Uh, don't forget to hit that sub button. Um, okay, that's good enough on the promo. So SoundCloud, iTunes, Karen and Bruno's YouTube channels. Thank you for the support. We love you. Let's go to spoilers. Okay, let's get to it. See you guys. If you don't want to watch spoilers, Bye. Everyone else, okay. what's up? Okay. okay. For those of you who stayed, so watching the feeds. Um, so when the feeds come up, like, honestly, you guys, <laughs> like, it's it's because we were a player. When you hear that voice come on and, like, call somebody the DR, it's just, like, mine, boom, blown. <laughs> I love it. No. I love it, love it, love it. So HOH happened. Yep. Right? Yes. Did we know who what the comp was? I, I didn't okay. hear any of that because so I went to bed. I watched... I won. I know that Dane won. Yes. So I watched maybe half an hour of the feeds last night. I didn't watch much. I watched about half an hour last night. Okay. Um, I do know who won. You know who won? Dane. Dane wins. 
Now, it was some, again, okay, from what I gathered, what I watched, I watched, like I said, only about half an hour of the feeds, but from what I gathered is they had to hold a stick or something and a ball, and uh, they got to practice at first, and some people were really good when they practiced, and then when they got to the, the game, uh, you know, whatever happened, Dane wins. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but I know that they kept mentioning how they're really impressed with Eddie, how far Eddie went. Uh, I guess he might have been in the final two. It might have been Eddie and, and Dane in the end. I don't know. But they were really, really impressed. And I guess they made some kind of deal where Dane wouldn't put him up because Thanks his name that. his name came around a couple times. He said, no, I told him I wouldn't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to lie in front of Canada. So Eddie is safe. I know his target, I believe it was Kira. That's right. It was Kira. And, and I guess after I went to bed, she had a cry fest or something and was very upset. And then I've re- heard the story that Kiki has told where she came in and wanted to cuddle in the bed with her and her and Anthony were in the bed and just chilling and talking. And then Kira came in and wanted to like have a cuddle fest okay. where she said that it made her, she goes, I don't want to be a dick, but it made her uncomfortable or something. So I missed a lot of that. Okay. Hold on. Explain, explain that again. Cause there was a lot okay. of, so some, I don't know what happened. A hundred percent. Like I don't because I'm still trying to piece it together. And I was actually working this morning. So I was reading Twitter and trying to read the updates and you guys support hamster watch as well. There's a lot of great people online that will mention, watch them and support them for, sure. um, for your updates and things. But okay. So apparently Anthony and Kiki were in their bed and they were talking and just doing game talk and stuff. And Kira came in and wanted to do a cuddle fest and Kiki is retelling the story today to multiple people I heard this morning on the feeds that this made her uncomfortable she doesn't want to be a dick but whatever was happening is like she just didn't she's not a cuddly person and she didn't want to do it okay. so I don't know if Kira was already sad before that or that led up to it but this house is full of so many emotions mm -hmm. and somehow she knew that she was going to become the target and she, Dane kept saying, you know, I, you're not my target. You're not my target. He kept reiterating this at the hot tub. And yet I can tell you guys as a player, when they tell you you're not the target, listen to them because you're going on the block. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is your signal that if they tell you that 800 times, you'll be up on the block. Your sure. ass will be sitting there. Even though you're not the target, you're going to be the pawn. So who's, okay, so is Kira the target still? No, 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 no. Mackie is the target is what okay. I gave this morning. Now we're so fresh into the feeds. This, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, this is what I also wanted to say to the fans because, of course, me being a first-time player in your season, your second season I want, I got further than you in your second season. Okay, Karen. Okay, Karen. That? Okay, okay. Because he, you guys, okay. he drags me constantly. <laughs> He's so nasty to me no, about my game. Like, get I out of here. Okay, Karen. Anyway. Listen to me. You guys, you have no idea how the timeline works in that house when you go in. And all those eight vets in my season knew. You literally have the HOH the next morning, afternoon, very early, do you have the nominations? They lock you in the HOH room and you're in there for hours and then they go and do nominations. Well, Dane was freaking out this morning saying, I need to talk to everybody. Well, boy, you better talk to everybody fast. Yeah. If you're talking to people, that's your opportunity to talk to them because they're going to lock you in that HOH room and then you're going to do noms. So, People don't realize that it happens on Friday morning, Friday early afternoon, but it does. Yeah. It happens quickly. And he's freaking out. But it's like, you guys, then tomorrow they're going to pull for POV. They're going to do the POV challenge later in the afternoon. And then Sunday's going to be their down day. Then Monday's going to be the POV ceremony. That's how it works. It's like that. Mm -hmm. It's that fast. Yeah, so sure. that he's freaking out right now, thinking he has all the time in the world. Oh, my God, why are they doing this so fast to us? It's like, no, Dana. That's how it works. Yeah. But I didn't even realize that going in. It didn't happen with me that fast. They did give us because remember Netta was at the hospital and I didn't get my HOH room till the next day. Yeah. So we didn't do it till later that 
later in the afternoon, early evening yeah. on my HOH, but usually it's done very fast. Yeah, absolutely. It's done the next morning or whatever. Like you said, absolutely. So that's that, fast. And that's the thing is that you got, when you're HOH, you got to get to work right away. Or when someone was sure. HOH, got to get to work right away. But that's what people think. Oh, we got lots of time. We got all week. In uh -huh. reality, you don't have all week. You have maybe 12 <laughs> hours or whatever it is. Sometimes it's eight hours, hundred percent. No, yeah. it's, it's good that you brought that up because yeah, like, I mean, we understand that, but a lot of people probably don't. That's good. That but you brought I that didn't up. understand it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't get it. And watching that play out this morning and him kept saying, why the hell this kid is saying, I'm going to work out. I'm going to work out. And then he's in the shower. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I love him already, but I'm like goofy, lovable guy. Why are you taking a shower and then going for a run? You got to get <laughs> fresh for your shower. So actually uh, that's what I want to say. Who are the people now that you've watched a little bit of the feeds, you've seen the first week play out. Who changed your mind? Who was someone you were like, eh, whatever. Now you're like, I'm going to hate these pretty boys, these four brain cells. I'm going to hate this four brain cell alliance because they're already growing out big time and I'm just going to hate it. See? I'm sorry, but if they just dominate this game, I will be just like livid. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something. Um, last night, so I did, like I said, I just watched a little bit of the feeds last night. And I mentioned this when we did our recap about Adam. And he said he doesn't want a showmance. And I said, I think this guy can do well if he keeps his mind clear and he doesn't get involved in a showmance. Because I even said it. When, a, when there's a pretty girl in there and these two guys like this, and these two guys like the same girl, they're going to go at it head to head. And the first thing I saw when I got on that feeds last night was Adam talking to Sam saying, you Cuddling. like Mark. I know you like Mark. You're hanging out. You're cuddling with Mark. And he's and he's all tight with Sam, and they like each other, whatever. He's telling, saying he wants to kiss her, whatever. Uh, not, I don't care about that stuff or whatever. But he was saying things like, you're too close to Mark. He's already yeah. he's already feeling it's, like Mark is a Kelsey. threat. It's Kelsey. It's Kelsey's strategy where she's got Jared on one side in the pack bro kid on the other who was with the other brother that's what i saw and that's not a bad game move for her no for sure like that's actually good for her that she's doing that but that the other brain cell sees it is like uh-oh well that's, that's what i'm saying so if adam can stay focused okay because first of all mark is in his four-man alliance uh second of all he's already getting jealous of mark uh, yes. So there's going to be the problems, and I called that when I said it in the in the yep. recap we did. I said the two bucks will go at it, and it happened right away. They both like this girl. I love it, and they're going to go for it. And that so I, listen, Good. I think that so split that four brain cell up because I'm not going to like it. I want those bucks to go at it I, because that's good. I see that four guy alliance crumbling fast. There's already cracks in it. Mark and Chelsea are kind of so. oh, and that's the thing I want to talk about. I think Mark and Chelsea know the same people or something. They're friends or they he's friends hey, with well, her. Kevin Martin, you know, knows her from radio school. And then last night on the feeds, somehow she is a big personality in Edmonton. She's a radio person. She's like if you, she probably makes the rounds. They've met out, you know, in clubs or whatever. They're yeah. about the same age. Like, I don't think that's unusual. So, yeah. no. So, yeah. So they're going to get that connection. And uh, they probably have common people. They probably met before or whatever. They said that they did, right? Oh, and that's that's the thing. So the one clip I saw, they kind of cut it out right when I was yes. getting in there. But he was saying like, oh, yeah, I know you. I, I don't know if it's her boyfriend or a good friend of hers. But they're, exactly. it's a mutual friend. And he started talking about it. And he was like, yeah, man, imagine if he came in the house. I'd just be like, hey, man, nice exactly. to meet you. Like, I don't know who you are kind of thing. Uh, when in reality, they do. So listen, in that game, okay, it, that right there is a huge advantage. If you have, yes. even if. Man, even if I was in Ottawa and someone's like, hey, man, I take the same bus to work as you do. Definitely. It's a connection. It's just something to, to feed off of. And the fact that they have mutual friends, they can be like, hey, man, we got to trust each other. Our friends would love this on the outside. They don't want us going after each other. And you use that as like a tool to work together. They're going to work together 100%. So I you think. You got to work whatever you can. If you're from absolutely. Alberta or you're from the shoe swap or anybody from Alberta knows the shoe swap, it's like, yeah, let's go to the shoe swap. Oh, I partied at the shoe swap. That was with Dimitri. We started talking about real estate and the shoe swap because he had been to the shoe swap. He had buddies in the shoe swap. They went on houseboating. And it's like, you've got to look for any common denominator. So people go, yeah, you know, they're, they, you know, you got some kind of something to talk to them for about sure. instead of listening to stupid stories that nobody gives self-absorbed stupid <laughs> stories that nobody gives a shit about. And you're, and you're right. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. So they have a good connection already because of this random person, whoever he is. Uh, so they're going to work together. Mark is also in that four man alliance. Adam's already jealous of Mark a little bit. 
Uh, Sam is like the middle girl where Mark likes yes. her and whatever. So there's already cracks. And this is week one. And listen, the, as soon as they – right now, Dane won HOH, so they still have yes. power. But the first week they don't have power, someone's going to take a shot at these guys. I mean, it, you know, it's just it's – a, it's a matter of time. It's going to happen. I think so. so. I think so. Yeah, just lucky for them, Dane won this week and it kept them safe. But I can already see cracks in it. I don't think it's going to last very long. I think Adam is going to be a big target. I think... Uh, I hope so. Yeah, and what, what do you think about Anthony? Anthony was, like, non-existent. That guy's non-existent. You know what? Big Pappy, they're calling him. Big is Pappy guy? is kind of on the down low. Huh. He's Mark and Dylan. Uh, you know, he's got that soft heart. Uh, you know, going to be more emotional guy. I don't know where he's going to fit in, but, yeah. uh, you know, he's different than I thought he would be. For sure. Uh, watching him on the feeds. You know what's funny? I thought about this this morning when I was watching it, trying to get ready between all the annoying texts you were sending me <laughs> um, and trying to do real estate stuff. When um, when he, when he, I see these people all working out, Brew, it's like we were the laziest house oh. guests. Even season six was working out, pumping. We went in and it's like we were the biggest blobs. It's like I'm not working out. 100%. You'd like, rather sit on the couch and do nothing. I'd rather 100%. sit on the couch and stare at the flipping wall. 100%. See, but I, I'll tell you something, though. When I went in, I, I used, I mean, it sounds stupid, but you, I, for me, I didn't want people to see me working out. I, it's oh, like, please. Like, you're some no, but workout I, beast. Even no. though you're good at comps, you're not, and look at you. No, but I don't do weights. But, like, thing. you know, I do a lot of running, things like that. I don't want people to see me doing that because it's just, I don't want them to have a mental Honey. picture of me in shape. Or anything. It's just, it, it, may, it might be nothing. It might be nothing. But for me, Honey. it was, that's how I looked at it. What's up? What's up? I can beat you guys in a oh, running but, Give me a listen. Don't even go there, Karen. You beat the system. You didn't beat us. You beat the system. I beat you in a run. Don't uh, take my shit away from me. You are nasty. Come Don't on, Karen. You won. I beat you in a running. Karen. I got the advantage. Karen, you beat us while sitting yeah. on the can. You beat us. Come on, Karen. Come I on, Karen. I be, did my thing not say 1546 before you lay masses? You beat the system. I came, I, in, I came in second. You, I came in second. One time, give me some flipping credit, you asshole. Listen, hey, you did a great job. Let's talk about the have nots. You did a great job. You did a great job. Don't ever give me anything. <laughs> this job. is why I'm never doing another podcast with you. You're a jerk. Nobody likes you in real life. Nobody <laughs> okay. likes you in Big Brother. Okay. okay. Have nots. So I got Sam. Okay. Adam. And who's the third one? Is it Mark? Who's the other one? I don't know. I don't know you guys. Yeah. But here's the thing. I saw him going to make a smoothie and asking, can we use sugar? And I'm like, yeah. no, but no <laughs> sugar. But you can have nasty maple syrup and cinnamon and the most disgusting shit you've ever tasted in your life go in your mouth. And you'll be thinking, I'd rather eat my vomit. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather drink toilet water than slop. I don't care how many times Big Brother tells you it's healthy. You guys, it is the most disgusting stuff on the face of the earth. I would rather starve and they made me eat it. I'm like, no, I'd rather starve. I'd rather just go on a, a Gandhi fast than eat that crap. Okay, I could, you know what? I could do some fun fact right now. I almost got kicked off of season five because I wouldn't eat slop. You know that? Okay, they, yeah. they, they brought me in the DR and said, if you don't eat, you're going home. That's and what I'm they told like, me. Okay, because after that first day that they made us put it on and I had to actually sure. physically taste it, because you guys, I know you don't really know me in real life, but I don't starve much. I'm just putting it out there. Like, you know, I'm just one of those people that just doesn't starve much. My food is my important thing. Sleep and food are important. And it was like, no, I can't. That is nasty. So, okay, so I was on it, I think, three weeks in a row or something yeah. like that, whatever it was. It was bad. It was bad. And I couldn't so eat bad. it. I couldn't eat it. I really couldn't eat the stuff. I mean, it, it, some people can get away, can do it. Some people can't. I couldn't. For some reason, I'd put it near my face and I would literally start gagging. I, that's, my, that's when my body reacted to it. Those cracker things, I'd have Dylan make them. I was only on it for one real week. And I would make him make those and put as much salsa on and just eat. I lost like four or five pounds so that week. It was a great diet. I <laughs> loved the diet. Well, that's it. So on season three, so they changed it after season three because on season three, uh, Brittany used to just eat salsa. 
she would literally eat the whole jar of salsa and they're like, okay. We limited, you guys, we were limited with the condiments yeah. that we could use. And if you abuse them, they would take them away. And they told you that. So even like the maple syrup, you couldn't abuse anything. So I know you guys are thinking, well, it can't be that bad. You guys, it's bad. I'm telling you it's that bad. So, okay. So what happened was I, I, I couldn't eat it. I just couldn't eat it. So I was eating like a tablespoon a day. I eat dog shit. Yeah, it was then bad. Slow. So, um, they call me and I would get dizzy and I would, uh, like I'd stand up and I'd see like literally like black spots cause I, would, I wasn't eating and it was, it was bad. I never had that problem in my life. You know, I'm the same as you. I, I love you. Sucked. This is why his game sucked guys. It was, uh, Hey man, I, I agree. Hey, hundred percent, man. It literally fucked my entire season. 100%. I'm just being shady. Your game sucked cause your game sucked. Not cause oh, it's slow. Karen, man, I'll go back in there with you any day, any day. Let's go. <laughs> Be nice to people. You you can't even do an Ica one where you can act oh, like you like listen to thirsty stories and laugh. Okay. Anyway, Karen, we're getting out, off the point. So I I couldn't eat it, whatever. And I get in the di so they call me the diet room. Like, bro, you have to eat slop, or we're literally gonna have to pull you out for medical reasons. You have to eat. If you don't eat, we're taking you out of the game. So they it, told me the same thing. They told everybody the same thing. Anybody that would need it, that's what they tell. So I don't know the third person that's I have not, but I know Adam and Sam, which actually just makes them be in that horrible, torturous, torture chamber dentist laboratory by themselves, which actually just strengthens their game together. For sure. Oh, yeah. Well, when you're sleeping in the same have-not room together, absolutely, man. You're going to talk and bond. That's where you yep. sleep. You're going to be – for sure, for sure. So uh, um, who knows how it's going to play out. So – Kira okay. and and Mackie are on the block or the targets. No, no, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. It could change. I mean, he still was going to take his shower and then go and wants to work out after his shower. So then I hope he does a post shower shower because he did a pre shower workout shower. That's for the brain cell. You're cute. <laughs> so okay, so that's his targets as of now. Nothing's officially. We yet. don't know. We don't know. Okay, don't know. who do you want to see on the block? Who do you want to see go home? Oh gosh, well you know I want the bros to go, so yeah. it's not going to happen. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, who I want? I want the bros to go. Who are you cheering for now? After the first week's over, who is your new like? This is um, my person. No, I don't know. I still like Kiki. Kiki's my girl. I'm all about Kiki. I like That's, Kiki. I yeah. still like Kiki a lot. I actually, I Eddie's going to be my William. If I was in there, Eddie would be my William. I think I like him a lot. Yeah. I think he's, you know, I would, he's going to be good at comps. I knew he would. You know, people underestimated William and how agile and how good he is. That's the kind of guy I'd want to be Eddie that, you know, don't, you know, uh, yeah, he'd be good. I, I don't know, Bruno. Like, I don't have enough of an opinion. I need to get on the feeds and see these people and how they're operating now to know. Yeah, fair, fair. Yeah, okay. from what I see, though, Kiki is my girl 100. I, I like her a lot. Yeah, I like her a lot, too. She's going to really have to screw up for me not to like her. Yeah, no, I'm liking her And looks. I really do like Dane. I just think, Dane, I don't like those other three brain cells you're with. Oh, I don't think that's going to last very long, to be that's honest. But who knows? Who knows? So anything else you want to talk about, Karen? No, I'm good. I got to go to work, bro. Got to go to work. It sucks to be you. Okay. <laughs> Actually. No, it's good. It's sucks good. sucks to be you, darling. All right. So, guys, thank you if you're still here listening. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Uh, it, it's gonna. If we don't ever come back, just know it's his fault. We'll be back, Karen. She, listen, man, she loves this. She absolutely loves this. Um, so we'll see you next week. Uh, again, if you have any questions or anything, put it down in, in the comments below. We'll get back to you. We'll answer away. It'll be on SoundCloud. It'll be click on to subscribe. Click to subscribe. SoundCloud, iTunes. Look for my name on those if you want to drive and listen to us. I don't know why you would. You could just fast anytime this is as much as I can take a him. Anytime Karen talks, you can just fast forward it, no problem. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> okay. okay, guys. See ya. Hey Brew. See you never. See you never. Okay, guys, take it easy. Uh, have Bye. a good day until next week. Take care, guys. Peace. <laughs> Out.